I was just in the academy tonight, and I um, was testing out our new HD equipment, which I'm pretty excited about. It's given us some better, some, uh, we can get more slow mo, slow motion on the club movement, and um, just better perspective. It's just a better piece of equipment right now. So I was at the academy tonight, and just working on a few things, and just wanted to kind of run this stuff, um, kind of put this on online maybe and post some more swings. So a couple of things that I, I'm noticing here in my swing position is um, some things that we've been pointing out in, in the Laws of Simplicity video were having the proper spine tilt. So let's just kind of go through spine tilt here. And I like to see, you know, roughly, if you kind of measure from from the top of the head through kind of the middle of the, of the torso there, you can, you're, gonna, you're seeing about, oh, right, right there's, 13, 13 to 14, possibly 15 degrees of spine tilt to begin with. So you want to make sure you establish the proper spine tilt to begin with. That's also down the line. So making sure you get the proper spine tilt here. This is a hybrid uh, fairway wood. So you're seeing about 47 degrees there uh, from lower spine to upper spine, 40, 46 degrees there. So that's kind of the first thing I check is just to make sure I have proper spine tilt. Now, as I take it into the backswing, you see at the top of the swing, and I'm just kind of going. I'm just going through my positions here. Uh, I really like this position at the top. You see um, rotation of the torso, rotation of the pelvis, feet are on the ground, and you see this nice leverage angle that I've produced. One of the things I'm really looking at my, right here is also my club face position. I want to make sure the face is also planing at the top. So leveraged position with the club face on plane. I'll do, I'll take that same position in the back swing from down the line view. So I try to match the lead arm position with the club face position so you kind of see that matching up there so very nice alignment there of club face and arm position so now transitioning into the downswing you see that the transition happens club moves into the downswing so you see the leverage in the golf club maintained you see the club once again planing as it comes down into this is what we call basically hitting position once again in this nice hitting position i look for this leverage angle of the club. I also look for the club face once again, the club face here to match the back of the hand. So we're looking for a club face matching there. And then as I come down from here into the impact position, there's a leverage. Here goes the club into impact. So right here at impact, you see um, a very nice realignment of the club shaft to the plane. There's that single plane line that we like to talk about. There's that single plane club shaft lining up on the plane. Basically where it started, see that how it starts there? And then it impacts there. So there's the single plane returning to the single plane line. Um, on the right-hand side, you see separation of the ball. Now, let's measure the spine here at separation. And you see rough numbers that it's tilted slightly more that's approximately you know it depends how you measure because it's a really hard thing to measure but you're looking between 15 and 20 degrees of spine tilt but you notice that it's increased so the spine tilt started here and then it increased if you look at the difference between those two angles it's increasing in here so you see that the spine tilt has increased its angle from a dress to backswing see the lower body move forward, transition, then you rotate to impact. So you got an increase in the tilt of the body there. Uh, and then watch the release as I release the club. Notice over here, which I really like to see, the club is parallel but above the line. So it's showing you the extension but planed above the line there. But it's still parallel to the plane line. It's one thing I look for. Nice extension of the arm and the club here. And then I'm going to keep going here. I also like to see as I continue the path of the club, notice on this side. I'm going to go back to that. Sorry, I didn't mean to erase that. So let's draw the plane line again. See the plane line through the, right through under the arm there. There's your plane line. Take you back. Look at impact again. We'll see impact on that line. So here's impact, single plane line. And then check this out. Look at right here. Notice how the club shaft, once again, is paralleling that line. Once again, the parallel lines. That's the single plane stuff we're looking for. That's ideal. And the fa face is matching that plane angle the whole time, so you're getting a plane face and a plane club shaft. 
So the main point I'm making here is obviously this video is really cool because it's allowing me to get some decent slow motion. Watch the club in slow motion here. It's allowing me to get some nice slow-mo of the swing. But it's also um, just really nice to see these positions. And I always, I, this is the stuff I always look for in my swing. I look for proper rotation, leverage, nice transition into hitting position, nice separation at impact, compression separation, nice extension, looking at my feet on the ground, and then releasing the club through the plane here.